What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part 44 of our Let's Play of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves in the last part. We were here in the Sly Cooper Vault, heading towards the Inner Sanctum, where it is located. Hopefully, some nice treasure stuffs. God, I'm not doing so good at this platforming, and I'm about to die. This is great. Dying in the Sly Cooper Family Vault. I think I died last time, too, which is you know, not a good thing. Um, some of these puzzles actually just kind of challenge you on how much you've actually learned over the course of three games. A lot of this stuff you've learned. Um, if you played Sly 1, 2, and 3, you've learned it a lot, hopefully. Obviously, I'm proving that theory wrong, but it's okay. We'll figure it out eventually. All right. Some of these challenges aren't too bad. Um, I completely forgot that those flip around when you jump on the middle part. It doesn't matter. What was that? Okay, apparently something hit me, right? I'm hoping. Whatever, let's just go ahead and get up here. Ah, this puzzle. The famous, well not famous, but the freaking hammer to the face to the wall thing. Where you have to time your jump perfectly. It looks like you're going to get your ch legs chopped off every time. And you pretty much do. Just be very careful and let's get up. No, get up there. Get I'm dead. I'm totally dead because I don't know how to double jump. Perfect. Okay, I'm not dead yet. That's something. Probably die sometime in the next part. There we go. There's my death. I figured it was coming. Yeah, it's not that hard of a challenge. Just jump at the correct time and... Honestly, it does look like your legs get chopped off. Why that one threw me off so much the first time around, I don't know. But it did for whatever reason. The only good thing about dying is you get to go through and get all the money again. Yes, it does double count money. Um, it resets all of the money bags that you have already actually gotten. So, you want lots of money, die lots of times. It's not like it's going to, uh, it's not like it's going to, you know, blame you for it, really. All right, let's get this one correct. It's a little bit of platforming puzzle here. Not really too much. Uh, nothing here that's going to challenge you way too much. Later, we're going to be coming up on the boss fight. The final boss fight of this game actually does give you a little bit of a challenge. But once you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. But making it to the Inner Sanctum is proving to be just enough of a challenge for me anyway. Great. No, why did that do... Why does it do that? Seriously. I'm making the jump at the correct time, but no, it has to freaking throw me off the edge. All right. Pay attention. As soon as it starts moving, make your jump, and hey, you'll be good to go. Trust me. I've, I've learned way too much over the years of playing... Well, over the year and a half of playing Sly Cooper. I can't believe I found this series so late, and it kind of pisses me off that it took me so long to find it. So, here we go. There's the next Cooper family member, as you might notice. That's a uh, plane. Those are like plane propellers right there, as you can see. This is the Amelia Earhart Cooper. I don't think that's her name. It's, uh... Oh, what is her name? I've completely drawn a blank on this for whatever reason. Weird. Besides being a thief... Otto Von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. Otto Von Cooper? Otto Von Cooper? Is that what he said? Huh. I thought it was a chick. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this could be like a Black Baron situation where she changed her name to Otto to make her sound like a man. And that's a possibility. I'd like to see her in a future game. Unfortunately, Penelope won't be there to talk with her if she does. Oh my goodness, I may have just... Never mind. Hey, don't listen to me at all. Uh, let's get more money, more money, more problems. Does that have any relevance to this whatsoever? Oh. No platforming challenge here whatsoever. Just don't jump when it's moving. What the hell? Do we have the freaking, like... Baker Cooper family member? Oh wait, no, this is even better. This... You might notice... That's a little slide right there on that little picture. That's so cool. This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the Thievius Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. No way. That's right. This dude 
learned how to freaking slide on laser beams. How can you not say that is the greatest Cooper family move ever? I mean, Sly has never come up with a move. Nice. Really wish they'd give Sly a move. But I mean, damn, Sly's dad learned how to jump on laser beams. Something that I haven't seen yet out of Sly 4. I'm really hoping they actually do keep this move for Sly in Sly 4. Nice little uh, respawn drop right there, right in front of a laser beam. So the moment I freaking respawn, no, you, you're dead. You take take a hit because we want you to. More money, more money. Wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Yeah, me too. It's kind of sad that they can't do any of the moves that Sly can. But we've made it to the Inner Sanctum. That means it's time to jump backwards to a boss, a mini boss fight, kind of. Do it, yeah, Sly. I'd say. Well, this place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. This is going to be the payday of all time! Think of all the loot piled up back there! Do you ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? No way! Sly's cool! We're all in this together! Sure, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly. By himself. Watch out! <laughs> Dr. M's goons? They must have forced the door after we opened the lock. Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls and I don't want yours to be one of them. Come Amen, Murray. My main man Murray getting stuff done, taking out the cobra, the cobra tiger. Oh my goodness, they can spit bombs! Why was I never made aware of this? I do not want to be hit by a freaking cobra, cobra, cobra tiger. Oh my goodness, Andy's got the uh, the singing voice, the uh, the what's his face, that what's his face had uh, the Don Octavio's singing voice. It's too beautiful. It hurts. I've never understood that move. Freaking singing voice. That hurt. It hurts a lot. I don't know why, for whatever reason. But damn, these things can spit bombs. They can sing. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, stay clear of the bombs. Keep attacking these. Well, we got like fish feet. They got yeah. They got like fins for feet. Cobra heads. Tiger arms. I don't even know what the body is because they're too busy wearing vests. Damn it! These bombs are gonna be the death of me. Like literally, I'm going to die because of these bombs. Oh, wrong button. I need to equip, uh, Juggernaut throw's already equipped. That's all right. I just wanted to make sure because I'm gonna start doing some throws here. Make sure that they're exploding on impact. Damn voice. Get out of here. That worked. All right, give me that health. I could use it. But we're not done yet. There's more guys, of course. I need to work a lot more on just making sure I can, I can pick up a few of these guys and uh, throw them at other enemies. And now we got the fish crab people. We've seen these guys before, haven't we? They got like bird. They got like bird feet too. Oh, and they can block. They can block your punches. That's not cool. That's and a bomb and a bomb and a bomb. Don't do this to me. Luckily, the juggernaut throw is going to give us uh, a lot more leeway with what we do here. Juggernaut throw. You sh should be able to take out people in one hit if you uh, throw them correctly. Give me that health. Perfect. Yeah, they're not making this easy on Murray. And I got hit by another bomb. These bomb throwing people. They really amped up the difficulty on a few of these enemies, didn't they? All right, let's keep fighting. Hopefully we got past that like little first portion. Uh, and we can see. Doesn't. No, we did. Okay, good. So, first little phase is done. We're actually going to be fighting the crab fish people. As long as I pay attention, stay focused, and if they stop singing at me, I think we could be good. But no, you're never that lucky that you, they stop singing at you. Can cobras or tigers even sing? That's bullcrap. 
like cargo vests as well, like something like you'd see Crocodile Dundee wear. Damn. Alright, let's stun a few of these guys. Let's throw a few of these guys. Throwing always. Help! Oh, damn singing voice. I swear, that singing voice is annoying. You get up close and you're literally gonna get hit by like 15 freaking singing voice things, and every single time you get hit, a little bit more health hurt gets away. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Just keep punching, just keep punching, just punch your way through the problems, Murray. You can do it. I think this is the last guy. Nice. As I was saying, there's more coming. Great. What I've always wanted, to fight more freaking goons. I guess this is phase three of our little section here. Thanks for the help, Bentley. I'm just saying, um, you can come over here and drop a few bombs. You know, these guys are dropping bombs. I think it's okay for me to go ahead and drop a few bombs as well. Damn those bombs. Seriously, who thought this was okay? Actually, it is okay. It's a little bit of a challenge. Gosh, there's so many people. So many enemies, so many bombs, so many singing voices, so many attacks. Give me that health, give me that health, give me that health, otherwise I'm so screwed. Okay. I don't think I'm even hitting people anymore. I'm just getting hit myself. This is not cool. Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm dead again. Uh, it would be nice. I should give Murray a evade tactic. That or I can start like throwing guys off the edge like I did with that first guy if I was smart. You don't really have much time to kind of react to what you're being faced with here. Because, I don't know, I'm being hit 15 freaking directions. All these guys are faster than me without a doubt. I'm just trying, I should really have learned the Diablo Fire Slam. That would have been so much, so helpful for clearing out this crowd a little bit. But no, I had to go for the freaking Juggernaut throw and the Fists of Flame and Fury. I'm not even... Ah, whatever. Just keep playing the game. You can do it, Murray. I believe in you, my friend. That guy just throws claw. That guy just threw his claw at me. That's cool. Get off the edge of the map. Don't. Thanks for the thanks for the tip, Bentley. You know you can come over here and help anytime you want. Just saying, it's that that option is viable for you. Great. This guy can regrow his regrow his crab arms after he's done. Nice, okay. I get it, Bentley. I'm gonna throw him. Alright, what should I do with this fiend? You go. Yeah! <laughs> all knocked down, and the Murray stands tall. Like a freaking totem pole of strongism. Is that a word? Ah, totem Murray. pole? You're much stronger than McSweeney ever was. That's right, plughead. I'm like a semi truck with its brakes cut. I don't have time to get into a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father. You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret, I'm smarter than the other guys, but there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Koopa gang. I try. Caveman attack! Alright, it's this game time. Stronger than he looks. Need yep. Some help. Dr. And M's actually really strong. Maybe if you took the treasure off the top of them and put it on Dr. M's back, they might activate. So it's our job to make sure that's oh jeez. I need to fall back on my grapple cam to deal with these goons. We need to try to weigh down uh, Dr. M a little bit so that Murray has a chance, basically. Alright, let's grapple cam this thing up. You can grapple your way into a nice little shot on these elephants, like so. We can take him out. And therefore, allowing Bentley to move in and get a nice little piece of treasure off 
duct on Dr. M. We need to get all four pieces of treasure on him. But after each time, we're actually going to have to uh, deal with a few of these enemies. So get yourself to cover. Reactivate that grapple cam. And begin your attack on these elephants. I actually want to get in closer. Uh, get grapple. Seriously, game. It's all right. I can't. I don't think I can hit from here. Let's get to the middle. The middle should be safe. Get to the middle. Damn elephant. Elephant ape hybrids. Nobody likes you. All right, let's jump. Nope, wrong. Jump. Jump. Good job, Bentley. <sighs> Finally putting those triple boosters to work. Damn, those things are so cool. I'm sorry. All right, put another treasure on his back. We got one more. Where is it? Way over here. Well done, Murray. Picking the man up and playing his game. It's really weird how um, this dude is so strong. All right, let's take out the rest of these elephants. Now, each time, there's going to be more elephants, obviously. That's the way it works. But once we can take out all four of these, we should be able to finally beat Dr. M at his own game. Let's throw this treasure on top of him and give the Murray his due. Come on, Murray, take him out. Oh, well played, Bentley. But it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected position of data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Cooper's only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? I I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. You think awesome. That is the greatest compliment Bentley's ever gotten. All right, so we completed the job. And I'm going to go ahead and end part right here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see all of you guys next time.